I think we've been playing playing live uh, from March last year. Um, and I think now with the internet that you, you've got so many risks of things leaking, you know. Not just the album leaking, but you know, people film concerts all the time and put, put things up on YouTube. And I, I think for us, we just wanted to make sure that the first thing people hear is the album or the, the proper recording. You know, we didn't want people to hear some crap video footage you know, recorded on an iPhone um, to be their first experience of our new songs, you know? It just doesn't, it doesn't seem right when we've spent months and months and months making an album, trying to make it sound as good as possible, and the first thing someone hears is a crappy iPhone recording. It's, it doesn't make sense. So, uh, you know, I think, I think for, I know a lot of people have said it's, you know, maybe it's a weird thing to do to keep, you know, releasing songs before the album's out, but I think it got people interested, you know, I think it got people interested in, you know, that whole thing of record sales. I mean, record sales are so irrelevant now anyway, you know, even bands that sell a lot of records don't really sell that many anymore, you know, and I think for us it's, it's more important that people get to hear the music and then come and watch us play live rather than thinking about selling records all the time, you know. <laughs> um, Tom Kirk is, is our oldest friend. He, we've, we went to school with Tom and he, um, he's kind of the shadow fourth member of the band, really. He, yeah, we, he's, he's known each other. He's actually known Matt and Dom longer than I've known Matt and Dom. So when, when we first started the band, um, he was always around. He was, he was the first person to get his driving license. So he used to drive us to, to concerts because none of us could drive. But he's just a, he's just a very old friend. There's always there's always some stuff, you know. There's always a lot, you know. There's there's a lot of things that have been floating about with with every album that we've we've not put on the album. I mean, I think I think there was a couple of songs that we started to work on and then and then kind of left them behind, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's it's the case with every album. I mean, sometimes you have songs that are really good songs that just don't fit, and you know, sometimes those songs reappear later on. You know, I mean, there's there's been many occasion where. We've had a song and we've worked on it for a particular album and we felt it didn't fit in that album, but the next album we've reworked it and it and it's turned up again. So I think Soldier's Poem was a song that ended up being on Black Holes and Revolutions, but uh, Revelations, but we actually recorded for Absolution as well. So th there's always tons of ideas floating about and it's, it's kind of impossible to release all of them really. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's hard to tell, really. I mean, it's, it's going to be, you know, another two years before we start making another album at, at the earliest, I would have thought. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, I, I feel like there's, you know, we've, we've done a lot of things already, but I still think there's, there's more we could try. We could stay a rock band. We could do whatever we want, really, you know, and I think you know, until we actually get to that point in time, it is, it's hard to tell. I mean, there's already been a lot of things that we've done that 20 years ago I wouldn't have thought we would do. So I can't really predict what, what the future holds, really, you know. 